Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be working on <clears throat> the um, May giveaway uh, junk journal. And um, so I'm going to try, uh, oh darn, here we just started. I should just start over. <laughs> it's already gone bad. The, this glue, I, I don't know. Maybe it's the temperature change, the humidity change, I don't know, but everything starts, these weren't glued down quite well enough. It's uh, kind of that shiny paper, so it may have a problem sticking sometimes. And then handling it the way I do. All right, well, I can always go back and I'll check all those things before, um, okay. No eyesight either. <laughs> I just got back from the doctors and I'm trying to get uh, things organized here again and cleaned up from the last project. Um, so what I, inside here, inside here, um, I still have this pocket that needs to be glued down, but in the meantime, I still wanted to put something, I think I've, forgot to put something on this one and glued this down already, but I'm going to put something with a flap like this and not that big because it'll show, but I don't think it'll block off any of that writing. Okay. So to make this, this is kind of a new experiment for me. Um, oh, here it is. Let me find a page here and I and I re, the reason I tried this is because I got this book today at the thrift store when I after the doctor he's close to the thrift store so I thought oh I'm gonna go and um, so I found this book it's not old uh, but it um, is nice and clean it's about the um, playhouses uh, throughout the United States I think or maybe everywhere I'm not sure but anyway, it's just something that you don't have to worry about having bad words. So if I'm going to make the hinge there, I decided that, let me move this over, um, that I need to leave room there. So I just pulled this over this way. Um, since I don't need as much, I might be able to get more pocket space. So this is... This is leaving me a half inch to um, actually glue in the book. Let me make sure this, yeah, that that's plenty. Okay, so here's a half inch or so. And this was a big page. This one um, was seven and a half by 10. So it's a, it was a big book. It had, um, you know, large pages. Kind of like this one here you can see how big it is and the texture of the paper is really nice it's kind of like a linen all right so um then i decided i wanted to have an opening for a pocket and i'm like well i could fold this down this way and make a pocket but i didn't really want to make it all that thick in there like that so what I did was I took and I laid this here. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut this bottom off. Um, let me get my cutter. Now that I, I looked at it again, I, oops. I think it can be cut down a little bit anyway. And then there won't be so much white part showing. Because I couldn't, I still have this white here, but I, I'm going to try to work around it. Okay, so then I've picked um, a height that I wanted, and I wanted it to come down low enough that if I put a flap on it, I could drop it down the back part and make a flap. So I just went like right here. Oops, actually I need to measure it on this side. Okay, and it, it doesn't matter what size uh, you do it. Then I took 
I just snipped this so I knew where I was. And I trimmed this off to that little snip. Can you believe I can't even see the snip? <laughs> okay. I can't. I do have a, an appointment for the eye doctor. I just looking forward to having that happen. Okay. So now we can fold this down. So there's only one thickness inside of there. Get my bone folder. So everybody see what I've done there? Okay. So this is going to be your front part. This part of the page will be the front on both sides. Okay, so um, then I decided I was going to um, fold this down, not quite all the way. And then this, the difference between that and that area needs to be cut away of the tab. just going to go in like that and go in like that on this end too because this is going to be glued down okay so now um, you could leave this square or you could round it like I did okay this top is taller because I I don't know why actually it should be well, it's just um, I cut off the bottom a little bit that's makes a difference because I want to leave enough up here for the opening. Okay, so we need to either, either you're going to leave it plain, like a book, page plain, if it's really old, or cover it. So I'm not going to cover it yet, okay? Because I want to show you this one, which is the same thing, only I'm going to use this music paper. And this one gives us a much wider pocket and so here yeah I'm pretty sure that this once it's flipped in I don't know though it might not hmm I don't think I got two pieces of this out so I thought it was gonna fit I mean, it's not. So I'm going to have to move it over a little more. I'll just move it over this. Now let me give it, move it a little more so it definitely fits. Okay. So now on this particular one, I have this hinge on this side. On this one, I really did want the hinge on the other side. So, yeah, otherwise I have to turn it upside down, I think, to do it correctly. So this is going to hinge on this side. Okay. Well, I could have had it hinge on the other side. No. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm going to hinge it on this side. Okay. So this could be um, left pretty plain. But I'm going to, again, go down to where I want to trim it off. Not right there. Oh. Get my pen. I can't see the pencil line. I don't see it now. It was right on the black. Okay. Just did a little snip there so I know where to stop. That's basically. I think that's what it is. Yeah. You can cut them down as much as you want. You just have to make sure that. not taller than your page. Did I make sure that it wasn't taller? No. <laughs> Didn't. All 
Alright. I lied. Ugh. Yes, that is correct. Gosh. Alright. But this I'm gonna have to cut off the bottom. I guess I should, I think I can just fold it to match up. I was going to say I probably could score it, but this is, this is junk, right? So we can do whatever we want. Okay, so I cut that part. And I think I have to cut that part away. Hold on. that okay and then if I want to fold this down I need to cut that away but maybe on this one I'm gonna leave it it still looks too big oh that's because it's supposed to fit on this one okay Now, you guys, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to glue this way because I want it to be under this pocket. Oh, my goodness. I just wanted to kind of show you with different um, things that you could use. All right, so now we can either round this off or just leave it square. I think maybe I'll leave that one square. Is this the one we just did? And that one's going to go on this side. Inside here. Inside here. Okay. I need to fold this one. So let's, well, I was going to show you one more. This is, um, actually, I might use this instead. So I'm pretty sure that I'm just going to fold this down. Let me give myself a hinge. So this one, we would hinge on this side, and then this um, flower would show. But I would probably cut that off. I think if I cut it off, it would be too, too small. it's too long and I don't want all that white I was trying to use that ruler. It doesn't rip very well at all. Okay, so let me see now. Oh, we still have to rip off. 
So I don't want to rip the top of the flowers, so we'll rip it down here. going to make a flap on this one. I'm just going to make it... Oh, darn it. That cuts off the flower. Doesn't it? Well... I have to because I can't... Uh, this would not work very well. It's not strong. Just see what happens. Um, I mean, you guys play with this too. I, I don't I didn't play with it long enough. I never do. I just want to do it. I don't want to play. Yeah, see, I mean may not like the look of that in the back, but we can always put something up there. In fact, where's the flower we cut off? Oh no, we didn't. We folded it. Okay, we can't do that. But we can put something else up there that would look nice. This is not very... Okay, now I'm going to uh, glue this down. Let's, let's ink around this one. wanted this one, the flap, to go the other way, I would um, have to, the flowers would be on the inside. So, if you have a non-directional design, then it wouldn't matter, you know, if it was um, not flowers or something. Or you, I don't know if you do both sides. in. They're going to show even though, but I just think it looks a little nicer. Part of it's going to show anyway, so not all of it. All right, so now, you know, I have a Happy Mail to share with you guys too. Got so excited about this, I should be thrilled about the Happy Mail, which I am. Just put a little divot. Okay. So now this would get glued right into here. If we want to do this one here. I kind of like it. I like the music page too, because it matches the color pretty well. Hmm. Okay, and the music page will go on this side, like this in here. Okay, 
so I this goes to the inside. Is that correct? Yeah, that goes to the inside. Then I'll cut this away over here. This will be on the other side, which I thought I'd just put something up there. We put flowers, maybe another pocket, um, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to glue this down so that it's nice and firm there, so when I punch it, it'll be good. bring it down or not. It's not going to be, this part is not going to be glued down. So that would be kind of flimsy. Alright, so I'm going to bring it down. So we can put a little thing with a little tie on here if you want. A little bug. Like a little gnat. Is it going to be gnat season? I hate those things. When I go to my mailbox, um, I can't even get there without going through a gnat barricade. out finally broke down I'm just gonna leave that little ripped edge there because I kind of like that okay. oh punch looks awful small today speaking of punches um patty this a butterfly punch is one and a half inches and it's um, paper studio the paper studio so it comes from Hobby Lobby so it looks smaller here to me than it does actually punch excuse me so you asked about that and I'll, I'll try to put it in your com in comments to to return the comment okay so we're going to glue this down the edge or you could sew it. Um, I'm not going to sew, but yeah, you could actually kind of sew down there. So you could sew down there, all the way up there, and all the way around if you want. I better not, because I don't even know if I have enough thread in my bobbin right now. I haven't looked. Okay. Now, if you wanted to put a circle, like an eyelet thing, I'm going to do something up here because that's not what we want to see. So I'll find some kind of a um, piece of something. Um, I have a little scrap here. I can find a little collage to put on the top of that. Um, anyway, I'll find something. Don't want to do all that right now. Okie dokie. So, 
don't know if I ink this side. All right, so we're gonna just put this in here like this. I'm gonna make sure that it's not in the way of the didn't glue the bottom. Well, I, yeah, I do have to go back and glue the bottom. I didn't think of that. Now I'm trying to leave that, whoops, just a hair away from the edge so that it's can turn easily. This will go up here. So the only part that will show would be that. And that's going to be the front. And that'll be the inside. So if I do this one, again, I've got to make sure it's close to the edge there. This actually is going to pop back over this way too. Okay, so I was just trying to think instead of having it, um, I could put this to the out. No. I would have to have done it this way, right? If I wanted to put this on the outside. Yeah, I didn't do that, all right. So, we will I'm gonna close this just to kind of give me an idea how thick it is at this point. kinds of little things to flip around and open. All right, so now I can use this one or how much time do I have? Oh good, I'm not too far yet. Or this one, which one was it that I made? This one I didn't do the. Okay, so do this one here. Okay, so what I want to do to this one is this was my plan all in the beginning. Let me trim this so it's got a, um, where's my quarters? Okay, so that's going to come down like that. trying to get a um, trying to see if I can get it where this is on the outside oh you know what I don't I don't think it matters I mean it does but it, it doesn't all right let me think this
So you could use, um, I was going to use a dictionary because they're usually, like the one I have is a pretty good sized dictionary, but the pages are very, very thin, so they, I don't think would work. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to leave this open like that, turn it over. This is going to be the front. Let me check one more time. Yes, this is the front here. So I got this napkin from Laura. It is a... Um, Edith Holden napkin and kind of been waiting for the right place but I think I think this will be the right place so I am going I'm not going to cover all the writing with it I'm just going to take out the design Because I really, oh, I just kind of want that. Well, I can glue that back in. Because I really don't want too much purple on it. Okay, let's see if we can get that out. if I kept this part. Um, let's see. I don't think... No, I don't. Um, I kind of... I'll go ahead and use this, but I really don't want to on... Um, I wonder if I should just, I was going to decoupage all of it, but I wonder if I should just do, okay, this is going to be the front, Look like that. like that it'll look different once it's all glued I'm hoping and then I'm going to get this little corner here this and then I can put maybe a label or or something there all right let me just turn this because I want to see that that I might like that corner better um, all right well I could do it this way yeah I could do it that way all right so I don't need to cut another one all right, let's see if we can, oh no, I'm gonna put the glue on that. You can't use this glue on, you can, but it's not very easy. glue that is
stuck on there that's not on the right spot, it will it will disappear. Okay. I know Laura's watching and she's saying, no, don't put it there. <laughs> right, Laura? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just. She might say something, though. All right, so I'm, I like that. Um, let's see if I can't. I'm going to take a little bit off of this area here. Just, it rips off and only stuck where it's glued. I'm going to try this on, um, you know, on a, a card, on decks of cards, you know how you, Put the paper on and then rip it off. Leaves a background. Um, okay, so I'm thinking a label. But, okay, so now we have this side. And, um, I don't know if we should do the same thing. We could cover this and... Um, I want to cover that because it's... Um, um, upside down. Um, we could just cover this side with. Let me glue this down. I'm thinking maybe this side, just some paper. I mean, it could be good for a journaling spot. Because I don't think I want to use all this right now. I want to save some of it. Okay. So now I can glue it down because I don't need this. Um, I mean, this will not be a problem. thinking that this will look nice with this color here, this purple part. I might go over this with the brush a little bit. Get to wipe it off, it'll leave one big huge mark. Okay, that just kind of darkens it a little. down. Oops, I gotta open this up first. Mm. Oh, actually, I really, um, really needs to be covered before I, before I punch, but I can glue it down. a piece of 
of glue in that lid that's what's causing the hang up sure I don't get it too close to that edge. It's hard to tell. This is where my signature is going. And this drives me crazy. It's been coming up. Time I might turn around. Okay. So, I think this definitely needs something to hold them down. Oh, okay. These are two. Those need to be cut down. scissors. I wasn't sure if I was going to leave these on here or not. If you guys are haunting Texas or not, but I heard on the news they, that you guys were going to have like a hundred degree weather for several days, and Oklahoma too. Oh my goodness, six! <sighs> I'm about ready to cut this thing off and just put a pocket on it. Still not right. So let me see, that side's okay. So I guess I don't know where the problem lies unless I have this crooked, but it doesn't look like it. down. It just feels like it's still right in the hinge. And it's like it's over too far. Maybe I need to brush it down a little bit this way. Didn't seem like I was setting it in there at all crooked, but I guess what I could do is trim it from here and sew it back down 
I mean, uh, glue it back down the edge, but I want to make that look right again. All right, let me see if I can fit this in here. Well, this is taking up all my time. It's not like you can practice this before you do it, especially, you know, when you're making it as you go, I guess. Got that in there, okay. Let me, let me go up, yeah, to the edge of that and see if that will straighten it up. going better now. So, I still feel like I should take off a little more. Alright. I think it'll be okay. I think now that it's Let's see, what can I do here? Let's see if I can recut that. steady hand. All right. Okay, so now I've got to glue down this. And hope for the best. I think the more it's used in, um, I can't even do this straight. Okay, look. Next time. I will know a little better about how to do it. Okay. Now the, the flap part is what's driving me nuts. And I can't glue this yet because I need to put something there. So let's just see. This one would have looked nice too, but um, let's see if I can find something real fast there so I'm not. Oh my gosh! It took so much time. I want to show my happy now. Just let me see if there's. This here, this is um, that's from the old. That's from the other um, Edith Holden book. I 
kind of like that. That's simple. Okay, let's just quickly do this. Same all the way around. I didn't do a video yesterday. Um, I was working on that um, floral flourish all day. that I think it'll look um, nice uh, when I'll put something else on there I don't know what but stuck down. Okay, Let me glue this down here. I'll we'll have to make tags to go in this. I'm trying to think how could I've done it like on the side. Probably could think of it, think about it and figure it out. Just put this up there. Just a hair still too big. Things marked blue. 
Well, on Mondays, that's when they're putting all the blue out. So the, everything that's in the store before they put it out is still a different color. So I've got, I got everything half price today that I purchased everything. This book was $1.91, so I got it for a dollar. Um, you know, less than a dollar. Um, the book I just ripped the pages in. All right, so here I can put a little dot there, but I might. I sure wished I had those had the right magnets. I I don't order them because I'm afraid that they're not skinny enough or little enough. You know what I mean? Okay, so I will figure out how we're going to. Oh, I know. I can put a, a dot and have something go over that way. I've done that. And it's still a little tacky. And that goes, this goes here. And this goes there. And this goes here, right? <laughs> okay, where's this go? This one goes here and then here. See, I don't know where it goes now. So whoever gets this will have to figure out where everything goes. So that one goes that way. Okay, and that goes that way and that goes that way. And it's getting a little chunky, so that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys go. I do have a happy meal and I'll share that tomorrow. Uh, it's from uh, Kathy, Nonstop Mom, and I'm excited to open it, but I don't want to go too long because we're already almost at an hour. I don't know why it takes me an hour to make something, but it does. So, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and um, take care. Okay? Bye.